All right, you asked for it, and here it is. It's a review of all of the different room accommodations on Amtrak. Okay, so I'm going to give you a tour of the room and kind of show you what some of the features are and what's available, what you can do in here, and uh, basically how you'll be able to turn um, the two seats and the bunk into two beds to sleep on um, in the evening. So I'll give you a little tour here. Um, let me flip the camera around and I'll show you what we got. Okay, so there's a closet here. There's a, a coat hang, a coat hook here, and there's also whoop, a coat hook here. This is the closet, little tiny closet, and they do give you some towels for when you freshen up. A couple of hangers in there. Um, let's see, we've got the seat here, which is really quite uh, comfortable, and there's a bar here that you pull on and pull the seat forward after pressing on this here, and the whole seat pulls forward, and then the same thing on this seat on this side and then that's what makes the bed go all the way across um, you've got uh, lights here and there is only one outlet so just know that um, if you can do like uh, multiple usb ports you can bring something like that but there is just one outlet you control the air in here you also control the heat so you can just turn the knob here um, and then on the other side it actually has the control for the lights ceiling you can also call the attendant and you have your own separate light here but again there's only one outlet um, in the whole room at so make sure that you have um, a way of being able to plug things in these here you see right by this seat so these are the steps to climb up to get to the top bunk now for the top bunk you pull this lever and then the bunk comes down. So let's see, it's stuck here. There we go. Pull it down. And we've got a bed up here. Um, and there is a safety netting that will hold you in. And so you can see there's a little bit of room here between this and then the space down below. And then when you finish with it, you just press that same lever and it goes up. So you've got a little bit more headroom in here when you're moving around. There are curtains on the windows, both windows. Oh, look at the pretty view right now, driving through, riding through Oregon. Curtains, you can pull those shut. And then you've got curtains for privacy here at the door as well here and then on this side as well. So that's pretty good uh, kind of combo here in the room. You've also got a little place uh, for trash here. Um, so they really did think of everything. Uh, All right guys, so moving on the list here of the different types of rooms at Amtrak, we are in a Superliner 2 roomette. So let's take a look at this one, guys. We've got our two seats, just like you would expect in your roomette, and that becomes your lower berth or your lower bunk bed. And the mattress we store up above, gets stored up here, and you just bring it down here. Now you've got your tray table right here you can pull that out flips out and you have a nice table for the two of you to use while you're in here here you've got your push to call button to call your attendant you can turn the lights overhead on and off right here music control here actually is referring to the announcements that you hear overhead so if the conductor is speaking or the dining car or your attendants trying to get a hold of everybody in the sleeper car they would make announcements but you can turn this off so that you don't hear it um, in your room or you can turn it down so that it's not as loud in your room and you can um, adjust that however you want I like it all the way off we like it all the way off and we can usually hear it from the hallway anyways with no problems and a reading light right there now on this side you got to take note that you only have one outlet here so if you have more than one thing to charge it's best to bring those little cubes um, that you can plug in several uh, USB the items into and plug there we have one that has two and one that has four so whatever we need plug that in and then we can charge everything at once here we've got the thermostat gauge now it doesn't change the temperature a ton but it does a little bit 
especially when you turn it all the way to the warmer. So just know that it's not gonna be a drastic change, but it is gonna change the, the temperature a little bit. You got another reading light right here. Here, you've got this little storage area that's right off of this, um, this chair here, this seat. And then you've got a uh, little uh, armrest here, but then here you also have storage as well. That's actually where I keep my toiletries down in there. And then if you wanna hang some things, you can lock those in with this belting system here to keep them from dangling all over the place. And you've got a couple of little cubbies up here that are actually going to be used up above by Rob in his suite. So let's pull this down here, show you real quick what this looks like. You've got uh, the bed up here, and it's gonna be a little bit smaller and narrower uh, width-wise than um, the one down below. The one down below is 28 inches. This one's a little bit narrower than that one at 25. Now, this netting here is where Rob keeps his things. You get his headphones, his phone snacks, things like that. And then this one does have the netting like they all do up above um, to make sure that you don't <laughs> fall out of your bed. And the, the big question is always, how do you get up there? Well, these are the steps right here. So these steps we use as storage during the day, but at night I move my big bag <laughs> um, and store it underneath my bed and Rob can use these as a step, no obstruction, all the way up to his bed. Hey guys, so let's take a look at what a Viewliner roomette looks like. So there's a lot of differences here between the Superliner roomette. For starters, the big difference is here in that you have a commode right in your room so you don't have to go anywhere to go to the bathroom it's right here in your room and you also have access to a seat right here in your room which is great uh, to have those two things available right here in your room some towels to wash and to dry off your hands and then somewhere to hang your things as well so there's uh, two seats here as you normally have but as you'll note this one is wider than this one it is a little bit narrower, so the mattress is actually going to be wider on this end and a little bit narrower on this end because, of course, it gives you a little bit of, it's a little bit of space gets taken up from having the commode there. Now, you also have the great feature upstairs person is going to have a view, which you do not have in a super liner roomette, so that's really nice here. Now, the upstairs bunk, actually, look at how far down it comes. Look at this all the way down so look at how much room he actually has up there so that's why he can actually use that whole window up there he's got quite a bit of space now we're going to push that back up and show you some of the features and down below here we've got control all different types of lights from the ceiling to the wall to a reading light and then here you get to control uh, the thermostat overall but you also individually upstairs top bunk has a control here on off low medium high and the same thing down below off low medium high and you can also control the direction that, that is going in and then you've got a little hanger here and I love also up here we've got a luggage rack and you can store your luggage up there we've got two outlets here and those actually are going to be extremely helpful. Normally you would only have one in a super liner roomette, but this is a great setup here and a great option if you're looking to get a view liner roomette. Let's take a look here. First off, you got these lights here. So you get this area light. It's a little bit, see that brighter than the other one. And you still have that reading light right here on the bottom. So that's really nice right there. And then you still have your sink area you have your mirror hello uh, right here but you've got your sink area which I'll show you in a second you get two outlets here and then you have a light that turns on here at the mirror as well now when the sink is open you're gonna see this light turn on here there's cups right here for you so see the light comes on that's a warning to Rob up above <laughs> to not come down here or he's gonna put his foot in the sink um, so you use that and it's actually there's notice there's no drain in here it's actually because it drains back into this area here so one of the things that you'll notice in this one is that there is no toilet in the room. 
Um, now let me move these bags here to show you this. So normally in the Viewliner 1, you'll see a toilet right here. There is not one in here. There's actually one in the hallway that uh, we all share or several in the hallway that we all share. Um, but this is actually a great, nice steps here for the person above, which is Rob in this case, to come on down. The other thing I like about the Viewliner um, is this storage area up here for luggage. Um, you don't have to worry about shoving them underneath the seats, which you still have room to do that if you have a lot of bags. So if you're in a view liner, you get this nice base up above and it's easy to access again with the steps to get up there. And then let me show you the lock here on the door. So you have a ceiling light here, a switch there, and also a night light one here. So that gives you the lights to the room and night light should Rob want it. He's not going to have to crawl underneath the bed to get to it like he would normally have to do. And then there's a lock here that actually flips. And on the outside, there's a keyhole, which the um, attendant actually uses to open the door if there is an emergency. Now, there's a nice big trash can right here. You just pull that right out. That's a huge trash can, honestly. And then there's this big area right here. Look at this. I have my big carry-on bag there. But look at this space. It is amazing. It's great, and it's actually comfortable. You can use this as an armrest. Nice and comfy. There's my carry water bottle. You've got two more outlets here. So as you count, that's four outlets. That's amazing. You've got control of the air conditioning down here, this vent here. I'll show you another place where you can control it as well. And then we've got ceiling light and night light here control as well. You can turn the overhead speaker system off so you don't have to hear announcements in your room. You can hear them from out in the hall. You push here for your attendant nice and easy. And again, you have the area light and the reading light on this side as well. Now, Rob's panel here for up above, he can also, he's also got his own push uh, attend, to call the attendant button, reading light for him up above, and he can control his air more or less, just kind of like carvings um, you would have there. And then up here, he's got this cool little mesh pocket that he'll have from up above, and he'll show you upstairs in just a second. But let me show you this other spot here, right by the window, by the other arm, you're gonna find this other vent. You can open or close it here tons of air coming out and then the tray table in this view liner too is insane look at this guys this is not tilted if you've ever been on a room that is not tilted you will not have to hold this up with your knee you will be one happy camper just like we are so let's send this camera upstairs with rob and show you what it's like up there okay we are up in the best part of the room which is this penthouse suite up here and i have so much room up here I am sitting fully up and my head is not hitting this. Um, yeah, if it was over here, it would hit a little bit, but there's a little ledge over here where you can sit up fully. There's 38 inches of space between the mattress and the ceiling. So that is amazing. You've got your own windows up here and that's something you don't get on a Superliner, your own window. So I love that because sometimes at night, it is nice just to look out and see city lights or something like that so a couple of the features up here are there is a ton of storage so right up here i have that's the bag that we keep our food in and all kinds of things like our toiletries and that's my backpack with my computer and my tablet and all that so if i want to get to that at night no problem all i gotta do is crawl down there and get that on this end there's a little pouch here which i think i'll keep a couple snacks in and keep my glasses in there have my own light up here that can be turned on uh, and then the air is nice because you can angle it towards you or away and you can also turn it on or off for higher or lower and there's an attendant call button for the person up here so know that that's there make sure you don't push that by accident there's a little harness here to keep you in the bed which i think will work fair enough uh, and that's going to be fine but the main thing about this is the room. So uh, on this end of the bed, and the bed is six foot two inches long. So that's just how, how long it is. But on this end of the bed, it's a normal width of a super liner. Then as you notice, as you get up towards this part, it does jut out. So you have more space up here. You have 28 inches as opposed to 23 inches down there. So this bed is just like being on a uh, on the lower level on a lot of these trains and a lot of times you're up on the upper level and you just you don't have the same you don't have the same headroom you can't sit up you don't have windows you don't have a big bed 
but on this u-liner too you have everything that they have down there and that just makes it uh, totally amazing so okay next up is a superliner bedroom so let's talk give you a, a quick tour here of what the superliner bedroom looks like first off you do get a closet right here store some things in there and then you get the sink area so in a bedroom you are going to get on a superliner a bathroom so you get your own sink soap there's a little even vanity in here with some toilet you where you can put some toiletries and there's even a bit of a counter space here for you you've also got a nice big trash can which is really nice um you know if you're here for a night or two uh, then you've got your seats here and these are going to slide out so you're looking at about 40 inches um, of bed space here now when the bed is folded out you're not going to have a ton of room here to get by to get out of the room but once the bed is made you don't actually have to leave the room so this is nice and comfortable you've got two outlets over here by um, the mirror right here but you also have one right here so you actually get three outlets in this room you control the temperature in here there on that dial and on this side you actually control the speaker system for overhead for announcements and things like that you also get a light on each side so not only do you get all of this seating but you also get this chair here as well um, and you can put the arms down on it if you want to and you have storage space overhead here we have our pillows here but this has a little lip on it which is actually going to hold your stuff in um, overhead here we've got a bed I'll show you here I'm not gonna build the whole thing up at this very second but you'll see here bed folds down quite a bit of space here and you do have a little bit more space here than you would like in a roomette as you uh, probably already heard and you've got stairs that we attach here in order to uh, go up to the upper bunk so there's actually quite a bit of space there for you now we're gonna go into and take a quick look at the bathroom which is a huge bonus so I'm gonna squeeze in here there we go so there's plenty of room in here actually just to move around and shower it's an all-in-one so you've got your commode and your shower you've got a shower head that comes off and you can safely store your towels up here they'll be dry there's a two uh two system here two step system so that you don't accidentally turn it on while you're trying to go to the bathroom and then your toilet paper gets stored under here in order to keep it um, nice and dry so um, that's basically the whole look there it's really nice to have this right here in the room and not have to worry about even leaving the room all night if you need to use the restroom or whatever you're just right here in your bedroom so hope you guys enjoyed this one let's move on to the next room all right guys we are going to take a look at the bedroom on a view liner and this happens to be a view liner too so we're going to take a quick peek around here this is a great accommodation probably one of our favorites overall so let me show you guys here you can seat so this is the actually this is the couch area here and it slides out and turns into this bed and it's about um six feet two inches long 40 inches uh, wide this way so you got quite a bit of space you got a little closet area here for storage you get your sink right here in your room and mirror and all kinds of lights you even get a little medicine chest which I think is pretty great so you also one of the big bonuses on here is getting your very own bathroom so in here this is a little bit bigger than the super liner we think it's a little bit wider Amtrak provides you with towels and you've got your shower head which does come off from here a safety bar and you turn your water on right here you've got your toilet paper and it has a cover on it to protect it from the water when you're showering and of course your commode which is really nice so that's kind of an all-in-one and then as we head out here we're going to take a look at one more seat here and this seat swivels in and then when you're ready to sit in it you just pull that out and put the seat down and you can sit right there um, and then this ladder actually stores behind this seat right here up against this door here so this will be out of the way during the daytime when you're awake Rob's going to give you a quick tour of the upstairs 
Yeah, and sometimes I joke about that this is the penthouse, but on this one, it really is the penthouse because there's so much room. I'm sitting fully up right now, and aside from this bar, my head does not touch the ceiling. So tons of room up here. This bed is gonna be six foot one inches long, and you actually have a great view out the window going this way. So this is probably my favorite sleeper car accommodation if I'm riding upstairs, which is always the case. Uh, this is way more room than the Superliners and way more room than the Roomettes as well. So uh, I love it up here. This is a great ride and I think you're gonna love the Viewliner 2 bedroom as well. Next on the list is the family bedroom on a Superliner. So this ideally is for about four people, two to four, you know, however many, two to four people, whatever. Um, all right, so next on the list is the family bedroom on a Superliner. So let's take a tour here of what's available in this family bedroom. So this is actually quite um, spacious as far as the beds are concerned. So this is the bed laying down. I'll show you what that looks like in just a second when we fold it up. But here's the ladder that goes up to the two beds. Now this bed here is only about five feet long. Um, so this is going to be more for a uh, smaller person, a child, or a small middle schooler or high schooler is going to fit up here. This one is the regular length, so it's about six feet uh, long for that one. And then you can also put a child here. This folds down, and it's basically the exact same size as this bed here, and this is the full-size bed here. Now, if you are a taller person, this is actually really great because you can use this entire space if you're taller than six feet um, you would have all of this space right here or like an adult and a child could sleep here or two smaller adults as well you do have a uh, trash can like you do in all the rooms you have two tray tables in this one one on this side and one on the other side and then you've got the closet little closet space right here for you it's a smaller closet but um, it does give you enough room to, to store some things if you wanted to. Then you also have um, the tray table on this side, as I mentioned before. And you've got control of the temperature right in here. And you've got some lights, kind of some night lights built in there. You also have only one outlet in this family bedroom, which it's kind of crazy to think that there's only one outlet in a room like this, but that's all that's available. You are able here to control the audio coming from um, the front, from the conductor, so you can turn it off or down so that it's not so loud when you're um, in here trying to sleep. But there's quite a bit of room in here. Let me go ahead and switch it out here and show you what this looks like real quick with everything kind of folded up. All right, so this is what it looks like all folded back up. There's actually quite a bit of space now, as you can see. All that space has been opened up, and you've got a lot of seating here, which is really great. You can even lay down if you wanted to, or have a child lay down while some, some of you sit up, and you've got another seat right here. There's actually quite a bit here. There are no windows up above in the Superliner, just down below here, but you do have one window here with your tray table and another window on the other side. So this actually goes the full width of the train. Okay guys, so this uh, Superliner, as you know, is completely different than the Viewliner. Uh, the ceiling space is going to be a lot shorter. So I'm 5'4", and I can't, uh, I, I can about stretch my whole arm here. So if you're much tall, if you're about six feet, you're gonna, it's gonna be a little bit tall. We'll have Rob maybe measure that here in a little bit when he gets that handy dandy tape measure out. Okay, so let's take a look at the bed portion here. So this is very simple um, to get into. It's going to be very similar setup to in a, a regular roomette. It's basically about this much space here. So this would be uh, about what a regular roomette would be like. So um, first of all, you've got your, your handlebars here, which is great. It's going to help you get up and out of the bed if you need to. And you've got call buttons on both sides. So here's one and then there's one on the other side as well as a reading light. And as I mentioned, you've got the call button here and you've got a reading light here. So these two are going to fold out into a bed. I'll show you that in just a minute. And then the panel on this side 
is going to show you is going to do the warmer and the cooler now guys um here's the thing is that this isn't going to drastically change the temperature in the room it's going to be a mild difference so don't think if you put it on cold that you're suddenly going to be in a meat locker or if you put it on warm that it's going to be like you know you're laying by the beach okay so just know that there are differences also there is a room air control here you can open or close it so that's going to close that vent up above to change the control of the room and I can actually see it moving from up he from here if you're looking at it you can see the little um, things moving inside the little shields inside so the rest of the panel here you do the temperature control and there is one outlet here um, and then there is one over by the sink which we'll show you in just a minute so in this room you've got your one outlet here just like you would have in a um, in a regular roomette and then you've got your it says music control and if you've um, seen our review of the roomette the music control really means that you're controlling the volume of the announcements so when the conductor or the attendants or the dining car attendants get on and give you announcements they're going to um, be coming through here and then at the bottom you get another call button and you also get the light switch for up above and so you've got two lights up here one of them stays on is a little bit dimmer and that one stays on for your night light um, at night okay so the top bunk is folded down here so when it's not down it's like this so you got quite a bit of space and it snaps into place so i'm standing here like i mentioned i'm five four and i'm standing up here if i wanted to stand here or if i want to walk around anywhere in the room now let's pull that bed down and have a look see up here all right so during the day the mattress for the lower bunk is stored um, up here very easily and then you got your here make sure if you're the person coming up to the top you're using these up here to buckle yourself in because um, you know there is quite a bit of rocking and rolling on some of these trains and you don't want to roll out obviously into the middle of the night you're gonna end up on the floor okay um, and then the nice thing back here is they do have this netting and the little pocket which we all know rob loves these <laughs> he likes to store his phone his snacks headphones and stuff like that um, for at night for himself and then like i said before this is the mattress that's going to go down here i'll show you what that all looks like in a minute but first we're going to go to the other side of the room before we do that i'm going to show you the steps how to get up here we're going to go to the other side of the room and go to the bathroom or show you the bathroom so Steps are exactly the same as in a regular roomette here and here and you're right up into the bed So no ladder required like you would need in a view liner roomette. All right, so Here's the bathroom guys. It's on the other side of the room directly across from the bed, but See this people who are thinking I don't want to go to the bathroom with someone looking at me. No problem. See you later <laughs> You just close that curtain very simply and then the other person doesn't have to see you going to the bathroom. Um, you can have your privacy, and if you need an assistant or something, they can come and help you very quickly. Now, you've got not only this bar here, but you've got this bar here, okay, um, for accessing the toilet, which it gives you plenty of room too. If you can see here, look at how wide that is. If you've got a wheelchair, this is a wide door here. So you're gonna be able to bring that in and they'll store the chair out here for you. And you'll be able to have access to this very easily guys, because there's a ton of room. You've got a nice big trash can here. And then you've got your sink area here. And here's the other outlet for you tissue and towels, a couple of mirrors, cups for rinsing out your mouth. And there is a, um, a mirror light switch here, turn it on or off right there. Now here's a cool thing that I really like about this room is you've got windows on both sides, guys. So this is about the size lengthwise, of, it's the size of the full train. So you're going, you can look on this side or you can look over here as you're sitting. So if something cool is going by on that side and you want to see it, you can go right on over to the other side. In the accessible bedroom on the Superliner, you do not have the shower in your room. So I'm going to show you exactly where that is. This is the Viewliner room and the shower is just two doors down. So right here, you come out, second door on the left is going to be the shower. 
I'll show you what that looks like in here. Close this handle, push the lock of course over. And then there are some bars in here uh, for you to hold on to. Not a ton, there's no bar on that side. Um, but the shower head does come off, so you can use that like that. And attach that back on. There's a bar there. Um, there are no other bars in here. There is a seat there. I've noticed a lot of times it does have towels and such sitting on it, so you may have to move those over. Um, but they do provide you with the towels. They do provide you with soap. And then when you're done with the towels, you're just going to leave them in here. So uh, you've got the shower area, and you also have a dressing area to this uh, shower. All right, guys, so for your accessible bedroom, they have all of the ADA approved accommodations with all of the bars and all of the different things that you need available. So in a bedroom, you are going to, of course, be getting your sink and you've got the bars there. You've got a commode in your room and you've got the bar that comes down here, um, as well as having a push button here to open and close the door so you don't have to pull it yourself. You're also going to have your very own shower here. And the seat goes up and down. So if you're here with a partner that doesn't need the seat or doesn't want it, then you can put that up. There's push button, um, two push buttons, one up above and one down below. And again, the bars are here. And um, of course you can take the shower head off if you need that um, to be able to sit and bathe. Other accommodation that's important um, for those in the accessible room is the passenger emergency intercom, and you can connect with the crew through this intercom by pushing, and then they will connect with you there. You do get your table here if you want to eat. Pull your table out, and you're able to eat here, and then you've got, this is the bed, the seat pulled out into the bed, and it is almost double the size of a regular bed in a regular roomette and then the the bed up above is also bigger now one of the cool things because we're in a view liner one of the cool things here is how high up the ceiling goes um, or how much space you have headroom up above um, it's really for someone like me who has issues with claustrophobia um, this is great and you do have the netting here of course to help to protect you and you have a little storage space up there which i think is fantastic to have that available and then you also have a little a little closet and a trash can behind there as well at the sink you do have some outlets and then you also have outlets at the back here where you're able to adjust uh, reading lights area lights call for the attendant and make adjustments to the speaker so there's plenty of light there's plenty of air plenty of, of places to sit and there's lots of room here again this is an accessible room and you're able to if you need to bring a wheelchair in here you can or a walker you could bring your bags in here there's all kinds of space so um, this is a great room if you are needing an accessible bedroom on Amtrak